It is a great day here in Minawao, northern Cameroon. The ticket may be small in size, but it has an enormous significance. Here in the Cameroonian refugee camp, these Nigerian girls have sparkling eyes. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees and the Confederation of African Football have organized a once-in-a-lifetime treat. The all-female team, ranging in age from 15 to 20, attended one of Nigeria's march. Seeing the time that they informed us that we were going to support our team, Nigeria, we was very happy. Since we entered to the car, we are starting moving, we are smiling. We, we did not be angry at all, and then they win. And then again, we are happy, we are very happy with them. We are wishing them to, to bring their cup to Nigeria. Since they came to the camp, I think they were seven, nine, ten years old when we come to the camp. Now they are 14, 17, 18. It is the first time for them to go out of the camp. It is an adventure for them. Attending this one Africa Cup of Nations fixture was a first for the girls. Usually they are not on the terraces, but rather on the pitch. Since they fled Nigeria with their families years ago because of Boko Haram, football has become a passion of theirs. Players like Christine hope they will receive new equipment to follow their passion. Sometimes when we are playing, we don't have a shoes of playing. That's why it's a problem. Sometimes we can have a bed in our leg. Sometimes we don't have a jersey. We just go and play with our clothes like that. So if it is possible... We need a shoe and jeans. The camp where the girls live opened in July 2013 at the height of the Boko Haram insurgency. Now it houses some 70,000 people. All of them, starting with the girls, will closely follow the Super Eagles.